Hey guys, it's Angel Bee here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can install Minecraft mods with Optifine and shaders on 1.15.2. There is two methods on doing this. One is using a Twitch launcher and I've got a video on how to install a Twitch launcher and how to install mods. So I'll link that in the description because I don't want to go through the process of installing it again because I'd have to like delete it. And the other way is using the regular Minecraft launcher, which is just off the regular Minecraft website. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up Google and you want to go to Minecraft Forge. So you want to go to this page here, I'll put the link in the description and then you want to make sure you're downloading 1.15.2. So here I'm just going to click installer and then I'm just going to let this load, save the file and that will be in your downloads file. And then you want to install Optifine. For 15.2 it's going to be in preview versions here and then it's this one. So download that too, save the file, and then the next thing you need is a mod called Optiforge. And now I'll put a link in the description for this as well. So you want to click download. So it says here that you need this mod as well. So you want to download this one too, and then click download, and then click save file. So you want to do that for all of the files. And now this is the part where you can download any Minecraft mods that you want. Make sure they are for 1.15. And now in your downloads, and then just drag them to your desktop. So here we have cooking for blockheads. Here we have mixing bootstrap, OptiForge, OptiFine, and Forge. I already had that one installed. Now you want to load up Minecraft. The Minecraft launcher here. You want to click installations and you want to make sure you are running 1.15.2. So you want to save a profile for this and then you want to click play and now I'm not sure why that's so big but once you click play it will load up 1.15.2 and you need to do this first so it creates all the required files. So you can just close that and now you want to double click Minecraft Forge and install Minecraft Forge, install client, make sure that's the location of Minecraft, click OK and now it's going to install Forge 1.15.2 and now it's done and then you want to go back to the Minecraft launcher and now if you click installations it should say Forge right here, this one at the top, ignore all these. So before we load that up, we want to add the Optifine. So for this, you want to go to percent app data percent. This folder is where your .minecraft should be. So .minecraft, and this is where you would put all the mods. So if you want to install Optiforge and Optifine before you run the launcher, you just want to create a new folder and just call it mods like this. And then you want to drag all of the mods that you have installed in here, make sure you have Optifine, Mixing Bootstrap and Optiforge. And then you want to, you can close out of this, but you just want to click play. Also it turns out we had the wrong version of Cooking for Blockheads installed, I don't think it's 1.15. So that kind of sucks. <laughs> So we just have to delete that and then just add any of the mod that you want, but make sure it's 1.15.2 or you will crash. And now once it's loaded, you should have a folder in your .minecraft called shader packs. You can add shader packs. I think any version works. So I think I have any, have I got any installed? I do not. So you just want to search for some shader packs on Google. Minecraft shader packs and then there is like quite a few websites for you to look at. So we've got Zelda's shader pack, chocolate pack, Cuda, like there's just so many you can install. So I'm just going to show you chocolate pick shaders. If you want to find a download link, if you have a not so good computer, I would highly recommend installing low, light or high or medium. 
because a lot of shades have different versions and then the extremes are for really I guess you could say good computers but then I'm just going to download this then we have tracker picks file there and then you want to click options video settings shaders open shader folder which is this one and then you can just drag it in and then it will appear click on it and it will load so now we have it loaded now we can click create new game and now we have the shader pack installed so this shader pack doesn't really work well on my computer as you can see my clouds are black and it kind of looks a bit dark it's because not all shaders will be working with the type of computer you have so it's just like a trial and error i guess bsl shaders i highly recommend i always use those shaders so yeah it does work just the shader isn't right for my computer so i'll see you guys in another video be sure to follow my twitch which is where i'm going to be doing live streams of my minecraft series be sure to turn notifications on give it a like be sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video Goodbye.